Hey YouTube, it is Rob. I am testing out a blue white control deck. Oh no! I just got lag and it mulliganed me. That's freaking stupid. Oh well, the hand isn't terrible. It looked like that was a good hand. And I got lag mulliganed. Well, I'm getting lag. If this thing's all lagged out, I'll just restart. Alright, so when I play this, he thinks I'm on twin. Take the land. Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure what he's playing. So I'll bluff a mana leak right here. And uh, wonder of wonders, I'm actually running mana leaks now. I don't care for that spell, personally. It's not my favorite spell. The, the reason I don't like Mana Leak in general, it is a good generic counterspell. I'm, I'm not questioning that. What I don't like about it is uh, how it doesn't scale well into the late game. And, and to me, you know, it's like these decks that are running counter magic they um they, they want to create those those long grindy matches and you know mana leak is great to get you there like you see there but um okay drew another click anyway that's good i was about to scold myself for dumping the click um but yeah mana leak is not great in those those really long ones Not that every card has to be great early and late. You know, some cards you have in there just to give yourself an early game. Alright, so we'll draw out some more. Oh, it hits. Wow. Some kind of a Grixis deck. I'm curious to see what it is. Wow. It's a cool ultimatum deck. The Jace could be rather problematic for me. I don't care too much about the rest. I'll get rid of the Jace. So he's taking damage from the click. He's he's wanting to use his burn to kill me and use the terminate on that thing. No, oh, never mind. It's worth. Nah, it's not. <clears throat> it's really not worth it to solve.
So I'm looking at a three point Sphinx at this at this stage. Which is not bad. I, I think I probably will do that. You know, he's running low on counter magic if he has any at all. have a uh, snappy. What can you do about that? Not much. path that thing but I don't want to do it necessarily where he gets the mana for it this turn anyway so I can geist and then I can dissolve behind it and if that hits that's that's going to probably win, the, win me the game yeah, it should be okay here, because now I can defend. He can try and cast his Cruel. Even if he used to cast Cruel, I can z dissolve it. Can't terminate it, can't bolt it. Deals a ton of damage. Scoops, watch. Or he yells at me for using bad cards, one or the other. Definitely put that on top. That's a great card. So now I'm swinging at him with Geist. Don't forget I had that accidental mulligan. It's not even an ideal starting position, but it should be interesting here. You know, a lot of people are scared to use this card because of Zoo and so on and so forth, but I think it's still got a place for sure. You know, if you know how to build. Black Sun Zenith. So this is definitely dissolved territory here. Don't need that too much. It's a cool picture. Holy crap, that's awesome. All the zeniths look really cool actually. gonna have a really hard time getting rid of that see he did have you know a few answers to it but the problem is that you're defending this with counter spells now it's almost impossible to get rid of it needs like a uh, supreme verdict which I don't believe Grips Grixis even tries to run it wouldn't even, would, wouldn't really be Grixis anymore if it did see, he's, he's got one turn to come up with something and I still got a cryptic to you know help me out and a lot of the things that were catching him before like uh, pyroclasm those aren't being played now because of the three toughness of zoo so they're moving to anger the gods which is you know even easier for me to uh, counterspell and so on so he might be thinking to uh, cryptic and tap it out to buy himself a turn. Oh, I can't. Maybe he'll terminate my uh, angel. 
I I'll let that happen. No reason to waste resources. I, I don't know what he's got. I assume he has a mana leak. He was posturing for a mana leak earlier. I'll let him do his thing. Okay, so he's not running a ton of creatures. What he is running is... Let's see. Yeah, I can put these in. A name like Creeping Tar Pit. I think that's one of his main win conditions. I like Grixis a lot. I think it's a, it, Grixis as well as Blue White and Azorius are both unexplored. I mean, he's running Crew All Ultimatum, so that's kind of a one Grixis deck that has been explored, but that's about it. Yeah, there's a lot of room for variation in there. So I kept this one lander based solely off Serum Visions. So I hope I don't get screwed here. And I am screwed. He's playing correctly, I think. Oh boy. That's not gonna help me here. lands to one.
No, that's not too late. Whatever. Let me just skip past this. I could I could probably even win it, but I just don't even feel like playing out of such of a, a deep hole. So at least I got lands this time. I'll open with this. Nah, I won't. Okay, that, that looks pretty good. should have opened with Mesa, but so I'm I'm not even bluffing the mana leak at this point, I actually have it. Alright. Now we can have us a little uh war of attrition. Unless he taps out for some reason here. I'm just build up. Alright, now by thinking about paying two life here, I'm bluffing a cryptic command. It's like I have one in my hand, but I'm thinking about whether or not I want to pay life to activate it. So my hand is rather full here, so I'm going to cast the click here and try and bait something. Let's see if he's got a duplicate. Doesn't look like it. So now he's got a problem. He might have the Black Sun Zenith in his hand right now. It's possible. If he does, he can use it. He can cast it. Looks like he's doing it. Yeah, Black Sun Zenith. I'll let it happen. I mean, I was thinking about Path to Exiling my own Geist just to get another land, because it is somewhat important to stay on top of the land game, but it's nice. I drew land anyway, so that's good. I haven't seen any creeping tar pits from him yet.
Okay. That's the thing about those Grixis decks. They have so many lands. They have like 25, 26, even 27 lands, if you can imagine that. They're like terrified about not getting their lands. Pretty good value out of that. Um, you can use minute. See how that that like if this is exactly the scenario I was talking about earlier, where you know if it was a different spell. Like remand even, I could have remanded that uh, mana leak and done something. But because he's got so many freaking lands, and you know you're giving them even more lands with the path to exile, it's kind of like a non-bow, you know, not a combo. But at the end of the day, he's got three cards left, and he has got to try and find a way to kill me. I don't know what he's going to kill me with here, but it's not going to be Creeping Tar Pit. Let's see what he's going to do. He's tapping out. He's going to be Cruel Ultimatum or something. Kill the Lotus. I'd say that's worth a... Uh... Dissolve, yeah. He's got all the mana he wants. I don't know, I would use Dissolve over Dissipate any day. Oh, Lord. This is why, you know what, this is why Mana League never survives long in my lists. Because of exactly scenarios like this. It's never, it just doesn't work for me. I hate seeing it in my hand. I hate draw I hate top decking it. Gilded Lotuses. Seems like he's spending a lot of deck space on lands and mana and stuff.
even a three point sphinx at this point right here. Snapcasters crying out loud. Snapcaster. Man, we get at least. That's interesting. Why didn't he let the Snapcaster go through? He's got something else to play. I would have assumed he would have paid for it and then just. talk smack about Mana Leak, but then it ended up helping me in this anyway. Ooh, no Sun Zenith or anything. Stuff like that, you would think he would be into. I don't know. I guess that doesn't work either. But like, what are you dumping all that mana into? Like a giant bane fire or something? He's down to one card. I'm going to do it. a big difference. Why wouldn't you save the Doom Blade for the potential colonnade? He's got one card and it's not a counter spell. Or he's got one of his cards is not a counter for spell, I should say. This could be the Zenith here, and that's actually fine. It was... What was it? Oh, that's right, Zenith gets shuffled back in, I forgot. 
Okie doke. Do a little seer vision action here. Um, I don't really want any more lands right now. Three, four. I almost have enough to swing with the thing and play the Geist, but not quite enough. Oops. Yeah, no, I should be able to play that. Okay, there it goes. It was grayed out for some reason. It's weird. That's clearly what he ripped, so he, sh he won't have an answer. He's in big trouble. He's like rage bolting me. I, I don't see any way he's gonna live. Yeah, good game. got me or uh, won it for me really that's what I was thinking you know his deck would love to cast revelation but really all it, ha all it has to work with is cruel ultimatum which is a sorcery that's why I kind of don't like cruel ultimatum decks per se I like Grixis control I like that a lot I just don't like the card cruel ultimatum because you've got to tap out for it and it's huge um, I prefer the moderately priced Planeswalkers that are available in Grixis, like Ashiok, which nobody knows how to use correctly, I think. I think he flourishes in a Grixis control shell even more than Liliana. It'd be like one of the very rare spots where I would say that I would prefer Ashiok. You know, I prefer to rip an Ashiok than, than a Liliana. But, um... Yeah, Liliana's also great there too. So, uh, but the reason is because with Grixis and also, you know, Blue White, you know, the whole idea of a, a Drago strategy is you're trying to keep cards in your hand, you know, potential ans answers in your hand to future threats. Liliana kind of doesn't let you do that. You see, you, you got to build up to her all, and plus one, you start having to pitch cards that you can't use, what's the first thing you can use? Well, you know, counter spells and stuff like that stuff is not a hard threat because there's no way of knowing whether or not you're going to be able to actually use those counter spells effectively. So, you know, that they're kind of like, you know, money in the bank, but 
I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to s- describe it, but point is, Liliana doesn't always f- play nice with draw go strategy. Sometimes yes, but sometimes no. Now Ashiok does, and then there's other cards. You don't have to look at Ashiok. Um, you could look at um, you're in Grixis. You can look at the Jaces. You can look at um, uh, some of the. Uh, you can look at Sworn Markov. You can look at, you know, if, if you're saying, hey, I can cast Greg, uh, Cryptic Command, or uh, Gruel Control, then so- casting Soren Markov should be no problem at all. Uh, and he will finish a game. There's, I mean, he gains you life right away. Uh, he's he's pretty stout. So, the, you know, there's, there's stuff out there. So uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to be getting a little bit back into the old blue-white based off of oh excuse me uh they played there was some blue white action i've been seeing it in dailies and i've also saw it in the gp the grand prix so now people are like oh yeah blue white is good Uh, he's so awesome because he thought of blue white this you know whatever pro on some day is oh he didn't need red but, yeah, I've been saying that shit for a long time and getting flamed and trolled for it. But now some other dude does it. And, oh, yeah, that's smart. Wow, what a good, you know, brilliant magic player that dude is to dump bread. Whatever. All right, thanks, guys. Later.